hello students today we discuss about the stresses in wire ropes different types of stresses are acting in wire ropes we see one by one first type of stress is direct stress due to axial load lifted and weight of the rope let we use capital w symbol for load lifted small w symbol is for weight of the rope a is the net cross sectional area of the rope if we want to calculate direct stress then direct stress is equal to load upon area where we take the load lifted plus weight of the rope that is capital w plus small w divided by area this is called as direct stress second type of stress is bending stress when the rope finds around the shoe or drum then bending stress occurs when a wire rope is wound over the shoe this shoe is nothing but the pulley around which we wound the rope then the bending stresses are induced in the wire which is tensile at the top and compressive at the lower side of the wire the bending stress induced depends upon many factors such as construction of a rope size of wire type of center amount of restraint in the grooves this bending stress is calculated by using the equation sigma b is equal to e suffix r into d w divided by capital d this equation is uh, find out by a scientist name as rolex uh, rolex and uh, equivalent bending load on the rope is calculated with wb is equal to sigma b that is bending stress into area we written here the bending stress equation we substitute the equation in wp equation that is equivalent bending load equation which is equal to er into dw into a divided by d where er is called as modulus of elasticity of the wire rope dw is diameter of the wire capital d is diameter of the shoe or drum and capital a is net cross sectional area of the rope note er is not the modulus of elasticity for wire material but it is of the entire rope this is the modulus of elasticity for entire rope the value of er may be taken as 77 kN per mm square for wrought iron ropes if we take the material of steel then er is equal to 84 kN per mm square if sigma b is the bending stress in each wire then the load on the whole rope due to bending may be obtained from the following relation that is wb is equal to pi by 4 into dw square into n into sigma b where n is the total number of wires in the rope section third type of stresses are stresses during starting and stopping during starting and stopping the rope and the supported load are to be accelerated this induces additional load in the rope which is given by wa is equal to w plus w divided by g into a and the corresponding stress sigma a is equal to wa divided by a therefore sigma a is equal to w plus w divided by g into a divided by capital a that is cross sectional area where a is acceleration of the rope and load g is acceleration due to gravity the impact load on starting may be obtained by the impact equation that is wst is equal to 
in bracket w plus w bracket close again bracket open 1 plus under root of 1 plus 2 a h into e r divided by sigma d into l into g bracket complete so this is the equation for calculating impact load on starting that is w s t and the velocity of the rope that is vr at the instant when the rope is taut that is vr is equal to under root of 2a into h where a is acceleration of the rope and load h is slackness in the rope er is modulus of elasticity of the wire rope sigma d is direct stress l is length of the rope when there is no slackness in the rope then h is equal to 0 and vr is equal to 0 because vr depends on h value therefore impact load during starting that is wst is equal to 2 times of w plus w and the corresponding stress that is sigma st is equal to 2 times of w plus w divided by a fourth point is stress due to change in speed the additional stress due to change in speed may be obtained in the similar way as discussed above in which the acceleration is given by a is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by t where v2 minus v1 is the change in speed in meters per second and this t is the time in seconds now the last type of stress that is fifth number effective stress the sum of the direct stress that is sigma d and the bending stress that is sigma b is called the effective stress in the rope during normal working now mathematically effective stress in the rope during normal working is equal to sigma d plus sigma b effective stress in the rope during starting is which is equal to sigma st plus sigma b and effective stress in the rope during acceleration of the load is equal to sigma d plus sigma b plus sigma a here we see one note while designing a wire rope the sum of these stresses should be less than the ultimate strength divided by the factor of safety so in this way we finish about the stresses which is acting in wire ropes so here we stop thank you